Let's take a look now at specimen number 27 over 21, entitled Objects in Motion. These strange marks were probably produced when flowing water pulled sticks along with it, scraping them against the intermittently exposed and submerged sediment at the lake's bottom. The sediment often developed a thin film of microorganisms on its surface, which made it more cohesive. When the sticks were dragged across the sediment surface, they scraped these grooves into it, and the cohesive mud rippled up in the roughly patterns you can see here, branching off from the central groove. Additional evidence of a current can be seen in the multiple series of small, rounded impressions running parallel to the stick drag marks. These are the traces of small pebbles or other objects being carried by the flow, bouncing along the bottom in a form of motion called saltation. Features like these that are produced when water carries objects that leave marks in the sediment are referred to as sole marks. The presence of a thin microbial film on the sediment surface has important implications for the preservation of footprints in the Connecticut Valley. This thin coating of microorganisms gave the mud a little extra cohesion and firmness that could help footprints more readily hold their shape after being made, and thus be more likely to survive burial and lithification.